What's up, guys? Welcome back to Duty's Daggers. We have an unboxing I'm really stoked on. Ah, yes. This was not going to arrive until Monday. It's only Saturday. And uh, the, trapping, the tracking just miraculously updated to today, this morning. And I was very, very happy. Here we are. Please subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Look down there make sure you are real quick. I'd appreciate it. And this is from TPK. TraditionalPocketKnives.com And it is a Jack Wolf. Um, so if you're not familiar with the, the channel, um, I'm a Jack Wolf fan. Um, and the Gunslinger is probably my favorite of their locking knives. They're, he only has two right now. The Gunslinger and the After Hours, and the uh, the Gunslinger is my favorite of the two. In fact, it's one of my favorite knives, period. Um, I bought one a while back, secondhand, and absolutely loved it. Um, but there was another batch of them released in a couple different variations, versions, and one of them I liked very much. So I sold my old one so that I could buy this one. And... Um, it's a little more my jam. Artwork is awesome, different than the original Gunslinger. Here we go. I'm stoked. The Gunslinger is an amazing knife. It really is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the Ironwood version. Whoo, baby. With a satin clip and backspacer. That is just plain old classy, man. So my original one uh, had blue fat carbon, like Arctic something fat carbon, and a blue backspacer and blue clip. And it was, it was awesome. Uh, I loved the knife. I just didn't love the covers, you know. I'm not a huge fat carbon guy. Um, I, I don't hate it or anything, but if I have the option, I prefer a natural, more natural material like uh, micarta or wood or something. Um, so when I saw this version, I just, I absolutely wanted it badly. And it has the hand rub satin blade. Whoops, totally messed that up. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. I like the set, the hand rub satin blades um, a lot. Wow, this is... This might be smoother than the last one. Like, on the drop. Oh, feels good, man. Feels really good. Um, another cool thing is, um, at traditional pocket knives, you can choose exactly what what version of the wood you want. They're numbered. This was number 16 on the website, and it was this specific wood pattern. You know, they're all a little different. Um, so you can actually choose what pattern you like better. Some have, like, more contrast, some are darker, some are lighter. They're just all kind of different, um, so that's really cool. Um, I thought this one looked real nice. Got some good contrasty sort of wood in there. Um, yeah, man, this is really nice S90V it's the same knife I don't really see any differences um, I don't have the old one here with me to compare because um, I sent it off to the new owner but yeah I really don't see there's no differences you know there's just not this one it does feel a little smoother on the drop though I don't know I don't think that's just my imagination Still got that nice tinging noise, too. I don't know if you'll hear it over video or not. Great flicker. So now all my Jack Wolves have this belt satin finish, or the, uh, sorry, the uh, hand rub satin finish, um, with the lines going this way rather than up and down this way. And, you know, although the belt satin, I mean, sorry, the belt uh, hollow grind looks cool, you know, with the lines going down this way, it's harder to clean off. Um, 
with these hand rubbed satin finishes, it's so easy to just get your cloth and run it down this way, and it just it cleans off so fast and easy. Um, plus, it just I think it looks a little more classy maybe um, with the belt satin. So let's get out my other ones. These are my two um, slip joint jack wolves. I have the laid back, oops, belt satin, and I have the vampire. Now these are both in the jig titanium, so they're matching in that way. That's a pretty nice looking pile of jack wolves right there. Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty nice. One thing I like about the finish they put on the titanium is it is prone to snail trails. Um, I happen to really enjoy that fact. Um, as you can see, this one I've carried it a lot. It's got quite a bit of, um, you know, it almost looks like it's stonewashed. When it's brand new, it's like this, you know, no markings whatsoever. But uh, after you carry it for a while, it, it starts to, you know, get some character which I just really like. Um, you know, modern uh, modern traditionals like these here, and I would consider this almost a modern traditional as well. You know, it's a traditional pattern, but it's just locking. Um, don't generally give me the same kind of feeling as traditional traditionals, like um, a GEC, for example. Um, they just don't give me the same sort of um, feeling. Um, they're, you know, these older style traditionals are just have a little more character, I think. Um, and that has to do with the, all the different materials. You know, you get patina on the blades. The brass darkens. Um, you know, we have brass liners here. You have the, the real bone uh, covers. And um, just a little more... I know the right word is, but you guys know what I mean. Um, so that's why I really like the fact that these, the, the finish on this titanium kind of wears in um, because we, I get that same sort of feeling, not exactly the same, but the same sort of feeling I get with the traditional. Um, you know, this kind of wearing in and changing over time. Um, I, you know, you sort of get that with that, um, with this finish on the titanium. So that I really like. Um, yeah, man, this is pretty much everything I thought it would be, you know? It's a Jack Wolf, S90B. It's a Gunslinger. The Gunslinger is a great, uh, it's actually a great user. And, um, you know, even before I bought it, I, I don't know, I was, I, I, I knew I wanted it just because it was so cool looking, but I wasn't sure how it would do with ADC, just regular cutting stuff. Um turns out it's actually pretty good you know you would think it would be really hard to get up to the tip for utility cuts but it's so thin up here you can kind of do utility cuts like this even almost doing it with like this really severe belly right here um and man is it a slicer holy crap is it a slicer i mean geez louise this thing slices so yeah man that you know having that satin backspring just reminds you a little more of a slip joint you know, man, it looks good. So, yeah, if you've been thinking about getting a, a gunslinger, now's your chance. They're going to be coming on the fifteenth of this month, um, March fifteenth. At um, I think they're at multiple retailers, but you should get yours at Traditional Pocket Knives. I don't have a code for these uh, for Jack Wolves, but um, yeah, get them at Traditional Pocket Knives. You know, why not? Awesome. You know, I've kind of been just uh, a little bit tired with the the endless stream of titanium frame locks um, and other just blah knives that are that are all good knives, but there's just so many others like them that it just becomes boring and just old. So I've really been after kind of more unique stuff, and this absolutely fits the bill. Um, you know, just this this clip point is so 
interesting. I mean, it's it's not your your average EDC knife. It's just not. Um, you know, the gunstock pattern isn't your average EDC knife. Um, everything about it is not usually what you'd see in an EDC knife. But it works, man. It's um, it's an old style knife that works for modern things. And what Ben has done is just kind of modernized it with, uh, you know, titanium bolsters and a nice snappy action and all that good stuff um, and made it something that, you know, is reminiscent of an older kind of traditional style knife, but is badass in all the ways that you want it to be badass, you know, with still keeping that traditional feel. So, yeah. Awesome. I am beyond happy with this. You can also take the clip off and put this little filler tab right there. That's really cool. If you wanted to carry it in a slip, that's a really nice, easy way to do it. So, there you go. The Gunslinger. These are going to go fast, so make sure you're on top of it if you're getting one. And uh, good luck. There's a lot of other versions, too. So, you know, if you're a fat carbon guy, you know, there are a few of those available. There's a really cool, like, purple... I don't even know what it's called, like Kiranite or something. It's like a purple resin with a black DLC blade that looks really cool. There's even a textured titanium one, um, almost with like a uh, quiet carry sort of knurling on it. Um, it's almost like this sort of pattern um, right here in the middle of the bolsters. It looks really nice. Initially, I was kind of wanting that one, but once I saw this one had the satin everywhere, I just had, I had to have this one. But There's something for everybody out there. So that's it. Please like the video. I'm going to go play with this for all day. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye.